I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members. Thank you. It's continued support like yours that keeps this channel growing. And if you haven't already, please consider joining today. Hello and welcome, I'm Bertha Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformer Cybertron Galvatron and I love this toy. Originally released in December of 2005, this was a leader class figure that retailed for approximately $40 and this is a repaint of Megatron from that same line which I've reviewed here before. You guys know I absolutely adore that figure. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat, unfortunately, I don't have it available to me right now for comparison. I wish I did. What I'll do is, for the comparisons, i just kind of throw a picture of it up. But um, unfortunately, I just don't have the figure to review at this time. But I got this one. This was actually my very first purchase at TFCon in Orlando 2023, which was just this past weekend. I purchased this figure from Rodimus Primal on Friday before the show even started. This was my very first purchase. I already knew I was going to buy this when I got there because I absolutely adore this figure. I love this car mode. You guys have heard me say this before. This looks like a Batmobile to me and I just had to have it in silver and black. I had to have it in these colors. It's an absolutely beautiful figure. It's huge. It's approximately 13 inches long, about four and a half inches tall. This is back when leader class figures were the size of a small baby. This is just an impressive figure to look at. It rolls really, really nice. And it's got that kind of a crazy, futuristic space vehicle kind of a thing that Cybertron had going for it. Really, the best description that I can give this vehicle is that it looks like a Batmobile. It, to me, this looks like a Batmobile, and I absolutely love it. I love the wheels, big old chunky wheels on the back there. That's one thing you're probably going to hear me say a lot about this vehicle and this figure in general is chunky. This thing is chunky in all the best ways. Going around the back, we got some thrusters back here, some chargers. We got a little wings up here. We've got missiles going on here. The figure does come included with two missiles and a cyber key. It takes two AAA batteries. I've been getting this asked this question a lot lately is how do you change batteries on this thing? So whenever I remember, I'll go ahead and show this off. So if you have this figure or the Megatron figure right here on the bottom, there's a little panel. Take a screwdriver to that right there. Take that screw out. That reveals the battery compartment two triple a batteries close that back up and you're back in business going all the way around we can see the vehicle is done mostly in silver and black with some gray details and some orange highlights nice purple decepticon symbol right there on the top you got a cockpit there like i said it rolls really really nicely we'll back up a little bit right here and i'll throw a picture of the Megatron version of this right here so that you can see what the differences are. Really, the difference is just in the colors. The mold did not change one bit. And that's something that was very common during the Unicron era, the Unicron trilogy era. Uh, and even going back to RID, uh, RID 2000, Armada, Energon, Cybertron, you had uh, Megatron, and then you had Megatron in different colors just called Galvatron. That's something that just happened a lot back then. Uh, I will show off the jet mode, and that's another thing that's so Batman about this, is that this Batmobile can turn into a bat plane. So we take the little wings right there and just fold those up and separate the whole front of the car from here. Unpeg those there, and then we're going to take these back. These pegs are going to go into the center of the wheel hub right there. Pop that right in there. And that's it. That's his jet mode. You can angle these down any way you'd like. And there you go. That's the jet mode right there. Not much of a difference, but it's actually quite effective, if you ask me. That actually works really, really well. The cyber key gimmick right here, you push the, obviously, you'll take the cyber key, which came separate. Very cool cyber key right there. You're going to insert that right here. And you're going to see these two, um, kind of these thrusters here. They're going to come up. And they're going to make a sound. And that's it. There you go. I have a, a, a kind of a soft spring on this one here, unfortunately. So I may have to get some pills for Galvatron on that one. What's really neat here is this: that when this moves up and down, if you look inside the turbines, 
you can actually see them spinning. So that's actually really neat. And then, of course, you got the two missiles there, which, again, if you saw my Megatron review, you'll know that I'm missing these missiles on Megatron. So very happy to get this figure with Galvatron. And you got the two buttons up here. You press on these. It's going to launch the missiles, and it's also going to make sound effects. And there you go. That is your cyber key gimmick right there. We'll go ahead and remove that and put these down. And then I'm just going to go ahead. These things are on a hair trigger, so I'm not even going to bother to put them back in for transformation because they are going to shoot back out during the transformation. So transforming it back to the robot mode. Um, I absolutely love the transformation on this figure because it seems like it should be way more complicated than it is. When you see where everything goes, it's really quite simple. Open up the legs and straighten them out. Flip the, the hips over. Open up the arms and then flip the chest over. That's really kind of it, but it seems like it should be more complicated. And it's just so very satisfying to get it done. And when you get done with this transformation, you have an extremely impressive looking robot. And here we have Galvatron in his robot mode, and what a glorious robot mode this is. Now, if you're wondering why I went over the transformation in that newer quick format I've been trying out lately, is because I've already reviewed this mold before, so um, I, I'm trying to keep the videos a little shorter. So if you wanna see the full transformation on this, just step-by-step -step kind of a thing, I do have it with my Megatron review of this figure, and I'll put a link up there so you guys can check that out. But check out Galvatron, he looks so amazing. I really love this mold so much more, I think, in the silver and black than I did in the black, green, and purple. Uh, I love that mold in those colors, but this just suits him so much better. I, I just, this just looks amazing to me. And I love how much more orange details come out in the robot mode that were not present there in vehicle mode. Again, because I got that whole Batman thing going on in my head, right? So I like the silver and the black, and I like the fact that a lot of this orange doesn't show up in car mode, so I can pretend it's a Batmobile. But then when you get to the robot mode, you got all these red, orangey details going on, uh, which are very reminiscent of what Megatron should look like. So I absolutely love it. I love the head sculpt in, done in purple. Let me see if I can zoom into that. So I love that his face is purple. I I adore these horns. It just makes him look so evil. But those that silver head with those red eyes and that purple face, it just looks so good to me. Um, I mean, you're not going to hear me say anything but good things about this figure. Uh, I, I, I am going to gush over this figure. It's absolutely fantastic. It's huge. Ten and a half inches tall. You go around the back. He does have some back stuff here. Uh, you can call it cable. I like to call it a cape. I, I like to think this is more of a... It looks more like a cape, and it is his weapon storage as well. We'll take a look at that here in a moment, just kind of looking all the way around on him. Articulation, the head is going to turn side to side. Not a whole lot, just about that much, and that's about it. Shoulders can go forward and backwards all the way around. They can also go in and out on the soft ratchet, rotate at the, the uh, bicep. You got a full bend at the elbow, and you also have wrist rotation. There is no, uh, there is waist rotation, actually, but it is going to be hindered by this back panel here. But you can turn it a little bit, so you can do some posing with that. Legs can go forward that far. Back only as far as the back, back will let you. They can go in and out all the way for a full split. Rotation at the thigh, bend, nice ratchety bend at the knee. The ankles can also tilt in and out, and then there's a ratchet also for forward and backward at the ankles, which is very important when trying to get this figure to stand because this figure can be top heavy. So you definitely want to make use of those ratchets on his uh, on his uh, ankles to make him stand. And uh, I've actually been having no problems posing this figure. And of course now, because I've got him in front of the camera, he's going to give me trouble. He can be back heavy, um, but it is... It is not impossible to stand this figure. Uh, you're just going to have to take my word on that one. Um, whenever the, I guess when you're not on camera and the figure is behaving. There we go. I, like you saw, I, I, I literally just made my own point right there. You got to make use of those ankle ratchets so that it will support his weight. Now, let's get into the weapon. So again, we're going to call upon our handy dandy cyber key. Uh, in fact, you know what? Yeah, we'll use this one over here. So on this side. We're going to call upon the cyber key. We're going to 
Pop that in there, and that's going to open up that panel. We reach in here, and we're going to pull out his wheel. His wheel and vehicle mode. This whole thing's going to come out. Then we can remove that, close that back up. We'll turn them around again. And then what we're going to do with this is we're going to straighten it out. And now we have ourselves a Gatling gun. And you can turn the little handle right here. Check this out. The whole wheel is going to turn. You got yourself a handy dandy Gatling gun right there. Very cool effect. I love these old gimmicks from this era of Transformers. I really, there's something to miss about this era. The way that the, the figures were big, they were chunky, they were easy to transform, they had fun gimmicks, they had lights, they had sound. Um, I really do miss this bygone era of Transformers. This was a very, very fun era. We have another weapon that we can call upon, and this time I am going to call upon my handy dandy, TJ Omega. Cyber key that he very graciously gifted me at this past TFCon. And we're going to insert this one right here. And that is going to release this shield right here. We'll set that off to the side. And what we can do with the shield here is we're going to insert that right there. There's a little port right there. We can insert that there. And then if this is spring loaded, so you can push on this. And it's got these spikes, and you can use those. You can use this either as a shield or as an attack uh, melee weapon of sorts right there. Very, very cool. Again, I cannot say enough good things about this figure. I absolutely adore it. And one more time for comparison, here's a picture of what he looks like in Megatron color. So you can see the comparisons. Again, same figure, different colors. That's really kind of about it. Uh, they both look great. I've had that black and purple green one for quite some time, and I've absolutely adored it. I've been wanting one with the, let's call it the G1 color scheme for some time. Very happy to have both right now. I really wish I could get to my Megatron right now to stem this side by side, but maybe a future video at some point. I just, I, I, I got to get to it and it's just uh, not doable at this time, unfortunately. But for more comparisons, as always, just in case there's a power outage and I need a flashlight, here is Optimus Prime. He's always at my desk just for such an occasion. And as you can see, Galvatron here dwarfs him. I mean, this Galvatron here, first figure I picked up at TFCon, second biggest figure I picked up this entire weekend. So why not make our final comparison here with the largest figure I picked up and a preview to a future episode of That's Just Prime. Here is Cybertron Galvatron next to Power Baser. So you can see what the two of them look like together. Galvatron. You got nothing on Optimus Prime. He's coming for you. God, I love these figures so much. I had what a great weekend we had at TFCon. Lots of cool stuff. Lots of big hauls. Lots of cool videos. So make sure that you'll get all caught up on those. And uh, yep, if you can get this figure, get it. If you see this figure, get it because it's it's an absolutely uh, beautiful figure. It is a must-have for your Transformers collection. And if you're into Batman like me, also a good Transformer to have because it looks like a Batmobile and a Batjet. And it also kind of looks like Batman this way too. The, you know what, Hasbro? If you want my money with these crossovers, do a Batman crossover with this mold right here and I will throw money at you happily. And I think that about does it for Transformers, Cybertron, Galvatron. What do you think of this figure? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.